What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna show you a neat product you can apply to your Toyota to prevent it from rusting and to also stop rust in its tracks. So there are a lot of different products in the market to protect the undercarriage of your vehicle from rust. Some work well and some don't work so well. The problem with things like rubberized undercoatings is that they will eventually dry up, split, crack, peel back, which will allow water and salt to get in there and it will just accelerate rust. Um, the nice thing about a product like fluid film, this is what we'll be using today, is that it's an oil-based product. So it, it kind of self heals in a way. If you scratch the bottom of your vehicle and this rubs off, it will actually seep back in that metal and protect it again. So it's a really neat product. Um, it's definitely one of the most popular products in the market. There are a lot of different ones out there and some guys prefer them over fluid film. If there is one that you prefer, leave in the comment section below. I'd be interested to check it out. But for today, we'll be using fluid film. Um, fluid film has been around since the 1940s um, and it's based off of, the, the base product in this is called lanolin. If you don't know what lanolin is, lanolin is derived from sheep's wool. So it's actually a natural product in a sense. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of different additives and stuff like that, but um, yeah, it's, it's actually extracted from sheep's wool. Uh, it, it leaves basically like a little oily residue, a, a thin layer under your vehicle, and that prevents water and uh, oxygen from being able to reach the metal. It actually absorbs into the metal to a certain degree. Um, so it will actually prevent rust from forming and it will actually stop rust in its tracks. So if there is rust that's already under your vehicle, it will actually soak into the rust and prevent oxygen from getting to it and further spreading the rust. So really neat product, really excited to use it on the 4Runner here. Um, what I did get also is this 24 inch extension wand with a 360 sprayer on the end. And what this will do is it will actually go on to replace this cap here and um, it will allow us to get into some very difficult to reach places. We can actually reach that tubing up on top of the frame rails running along, but also we can stick the tubing into small holes in the frame and actually spray the inside of the frame. So these are the two things that you'll need for the job. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this tubing. But yeah, let's jump into the job and let's get the stuff on the vehicle. Super excited for it, let's do it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up your rear hatch. This will give you access to a small compartment on the left-hand side. Inside this compartment will be a little black bag that contains the tools necessary to drop your spare tire. The reason why you want to drop your spare tire is to gain better access to the backside of your vehicle so you can apply the fluid film. Look at all the rust and just disgusting metal back there. Next what you'll want to do is lower your front skid plate and this will give you better access to the front of your vehicle. Once you've done these two things, take your vehicle in to have the undercarriage blasted at your local car wash or use a pressure washer. I was lazy, so I used the car wash and it worked quite well. The metal doesn't have to be completely clean, but it has to just be free of a lot of like mud and stuff like that. Then you'll want to dry the undercarriage of your vehicle. What I did is I just used a fan and parked my vehicle in my garage overnight with the fan going and that completely dried the vehicle. Next, what I did was I laid out a tarp. If you do not have a big tarp, you could just go to Home Depot, buy some plywood and use their free poly roll at the lumber doors. This stuff is pretty messy though, so I do highly recommend you put something down or do it, you know, say outside over some gravel or something. Um, otherwise, you'll be spending a lot of time cleaning up your garage afterwards. All right, so we've removed the spare tire from the back. We've got our skid plate off. We sprayed under the vehicle to clear away any debris or anything like that to really make sure the fluid film sticks. Uh, I've changed into some clothes I don't really care about, a long sleeve, some long pants. I got a respirator on, an N95 or something would probably work too. They do claim that this stuff is non-toxic or non-harmful, um, but I'm still going to do it because I don't know if there's additives or something. So I put some goggles on as well and a headlamp just so I can really see what I'm doing under the vehicle. Uh, I've applied this 360 nozzle to the fluid film. Stuff works pretty good. Um, the nozzle does work really well. I haven't had to modify it or anything. You know, it actually does kind of smell like like wool or like sheeps or a farm. That's neat. Uh, it doesn't really smell like a chemical. Anyways, let's, uh, let's jump into the vehicle and apply this fluid film. And I'll just take you through what I'm gonna do to do it and show you where I'm applying it. Let's jump into the vehicle. So for sections like this, I would use just a regular can and just spray along. And then to get into sections of the frame, 
to actually get inside the frame, I'll go through these little holes on the side. And this nozzle will spray a lot out, as you can see. So, get it in there and just spray in these little holes. And then I can go actually on top of the frame. So just make sure to get into every crease and hole with that 360 wand. It'll give you access to some really tight places. Um, as you can see, my vehicle already has quite a bit of rust on it and it is only four to five years old. You do not need to apply a lot of the fluid film. It does come out really thick. At first I was applying quite a thick layer and then realized afterwards that I was probably applying too much. It was almost like a gelatin layer of fluid film on my vehicle and that's just overkill. But yeah, the end results were nice. I got pretty good coverage. Uh, the 361, I just made sure I got into all those little holes with it. Here is a before of the rear of my vehicle, before I applied the fluid film, and here is an after. So it does kind of make the metal look new again, um, really brings out the black in your paint, and I do feel like my vehicle is better protected. All right, so I just undercoated the foreigner here. It took me three cans. It is a really messy product. Just make sure that you, you know, are wearing gloves, have a tarp down or some poly and some crappy clothes because it does you know, get everywhere. Um, it doesn't smell horrible, not when I was applying it at least. I do hear that it does smell bad when it burns off your exhaust and that sort of thing. So I'm going to take the vehicle up and do some pretty steep hill climbs. There's a little hiking trail I'm going to drive to which will heat up the exhaust and allow it just to burn off. Um, I did find the product easy to apply. The cans worked well. The 360 wand unfortunately leaked around the outside a little bit while I was applying it. That's something you might find. Um, and the cap doesn't really stay in very well. So yeah, if it gets on the sides of the can, just use a little paper towel to help you grip onto it better. The 361 itself though really applied the stuff nicely. It really sprays out everywhere. So once you, once you get it inside your frame and press that button, you know you're getting good coverage in there. Um, nice product to work with overall. And uh, yeah, I hope it really protects the foreigner here for years to come. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe. Hope to come up with a lot more videos and always appreciate your guys' support. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye now.